Matt Man 2006 here. We're back with this Illumix camera that I did a review and unboxing last week. Um, a lot of views, a lot of comments, no comments, not many. Um, but hopefully, uh, it was really quick because I had to get to a game which now is up on YouTube. So, if you haven't seen that video, that is still from the Panasonic uh, F91 camera. Um, I didn't use the new camera to take any video with that game. I may use it to take pictures. Um, because it's really fast for picture taking, um, and I found, I learned out a lot about the camera, um, so there was a way to turn off the beeping noise from when you take a picture, um, and when you take, when you disable that function, the flash does not work. Um, again, make sure you take the lens cover off, because it does have a lens cover on it, um, but, um, as you can see, it beeps. If you turn off that beep, the flash will not go off. Uh, so make sure that you turn off the beat, or turn, make sure it's on, um, because I didn't realize when it wasn't on, the flash would not fire if you did want to take a picture. Um, so that's one thing to know about this camera, is you have to have the beeping turned on for the flash to go off. Um, at, I had some, um, I had some events that I was taking pictures, and I couldn't figure out how to turn the flash on because I was using custom settings on here. There's a few custom settings on the top right there. So I was doing custom and the fire and it would fire off the, the flash, which is weird. Um, but I finally figured out the other day when I was doing just some pictures around the house um, that, that the flash needs to be, needs to be on that uh, clicking noise so you can hear it firing. Then you hit the pop-up flash and then it will fire. So that's one thing I've noticed over a week of having the camera, almost a week and a half actually now. Um, but it's a great camera. Um, it does 4K video. I haven't shot any 4K video with it yet. Um, mainly this camera, for me, is going to be taking stills. So if you can see the camera in front of me, that's how quick it is. So I just took roughly 20, 30 photos in auto. And it took, you know, they're probably going to be great photos to blow up and all that kind of stuff. Um, in night, you can pop the flash off and you can still, well, it's auto, so if it doesn't need the flash, it won't use it. Um, but if you need the flash to go off, it takes a minute for it to recharge. But this also, this Lumix camera, which if you didn't know which one it is, it is the uh, Panasonic MM, or M DMC G85. Um, it also has a spot for a hot shoot. So I don't think that, I think you can use any Panasonic hot shoot and put it on top and then you have a much better flash. I've had that with my old Canon, uh, not professional ones, because this is a, this is my first um, interchangeable system. Just so you guys know, interchangeable systems are a lot better than a point and shoot. Mega zooms is what I had before, and from what I can tell, um, you can still use the hot shoot on mega zooms, but, you know, like I said, they're, they're about two to three hundred dollars on top of the camera. Um, Interchangeable lane systems like this have inside there's a mirror. So that mirror flips up and mirrorless don't, this is a mirrorless so it doesn't have a mirror inside, but a lot of other cameras on the market have a mirror inside, which mirrorless means there's no mirror inside. So mirror, mirror like um, a lot of the Canon Revel and the Nikons have a lens, um, what they have inside is they have a, a, a lens that has to flip up and um, it flips up and then takes a picture. With this, there's no there's no mirror that has to flip up because there's no mirror. It's just a sensor by itself. So that's why it can be wicked fast. That's just the auto focusing. But I mean, to take a picture, you just take it, you just hold it down for a second, and it'll take a picture. Um, like I said, I haven't really mentioned the video function on this. It is 4K. Um, I haven't shot much 4K video with this. Um, if you guys have questions about 4K video on the Panasonic, the other Panasonic, that I'm, when I'm videoing, I guess I should have done this from 4K. Um, it does 4K as well, uh, so check out the videos. Of the, I've done one sporting event in 4K that was the scene right for the tennis team. So if you go back and you can watch that, that's all in 4K. The whole entire video was shot in 4K. Um, I might be able to do some more 4K for you guys. Um, since now I have two cameras, um, this will be my still camera, so I can go, you know, you know, just take the pictures with this. Um, 
and then I'll use the other camera, the one you're watching this, or maybe to another camera, we'll have to see. Um, because this camera you're watching right now, and this is another thing for you guys to know, um, the Panasonic F991 camcorder, the one that's recording this right now, um, had a little fall. And um, if you guys have any questions about that camera, please submit them in the comments, send me a message somehow, because I'll try to answer as many questions as I can. In the next few days, I will be doing a video on that camera and then posting it up, um, because that camera is going to have to go in for repair, I think. Um, something happened to it, and I need to get it fixed. Um, so I don't know, I'll be without this camera for a little bit, but I, now I have this camera, which does do, it will do video, it does in 4K, I just haven't shot in 4K. Smile! <laughs> And it's, like I said, it's extremely fast, um, very fast to take pictures. The, now, I have tested out some of the video functions on this camera. The video function on here um, will not let you able to take a still when you're video. Um, no, maybe in the 4K you can, but if you just, I, I have well, I've found out that from the, the stuff I've videoed so far, if you take a still, it stops the video. So then you just have to resume. So, um, now maybe, if, I don't know. See, I really haven't tested this camera out that far. So if you hit the video, okay, so it's videoing. Um, and this is probably just standard HD. I'm not too sure of what it's videoing. But if I take a still, it looks like, oh. Oh, it's still videoing. So you can make a still in video at the same time. Okay. I just didn't know if it would because, um, again, the video, it's something I don't do that much of. So, um, that question is, yes, you can take a video and picture at the same time. So, if you do wonder about that, yes, you can. I just didn't know. Um, again, I don't know what quality that's in, um, but yeah, so you can take stills when you're videoing. So, um, if you are looking for a camera for that feature set, um, you can. And I think you just... Huh. So, if I want to... So, you can... So, you can see the settings on it. Um, yeah, so you can take a still and a video at the same time, which is great, now that I know that. Um, again, other shooting modes might not let you do that, but in the... And the video, now the, the, there is a video button right on the top of the dial, so there is a video button right there on the top of the dial. I've also noticed the battery life on here is pretty decent. Um, I would definitely, um, definitely pick up another memory, or another memory card, another battery for it. Um, they also have another, uh, other accessories for this. Or like I said, the hot shoot, there's two hot shoots that you can buy for it. One's about 299 the other one's about 500 It's the more expensive one, obviously, because it's... Higher expense, and I believe that both of those um, hot shoots do take four AA. So make sure if you're going to be doing that to get four AA's that are rechargeable, or um, maybe they aren't. I don't know. Um, so definitely recommend getting that if you're going to take a lot of pictures um, inside or on a dark night, um, because that will be helpful to have a, a nice good light. To, um, and you can also buy a light for it. I didn't mention that. There, you can buy a light. I don't know how much that is. I haven't really looked at everything you can buy for this camera because I literally just got this last week and I'm still getting use of it. You can also get a battery grip. So, this can handle one of those um, battery grips, which is going to be nice as well for sport photography, which obviously you know I do a lot of sports. Go bees. Um, and as you probably didn't know, or maybe you didn't know, all the sports are done at this point. Um, every team has gone their ways and they um, some have won uh, big titles um, field hockey went all the way to states good job girls very glad for you guys and also um, our uh, varsity both boys and girls volleyball did really well um, the girls went all the way to regionals good job girls and then obviously all the other sports you probably have seen those videos and they did really well as well so with those being done, now we're getting ready for winter sports to start up, and that's inside. So this is going to help out with inside sports, taking the pictures and the videos. Um, as you can see, the video is pretty good. Um, I'll, maybe when I did that video, I'll pop it up on the screen at some point um, on the screen that you're watching now. And you can see the quality, or maybe I'll upload an entertainment video uh, for you guys to watch. But yeah, the video quality is pretty decent. 
um, since you can now that I know you can take pictures or videos at the same time, which is nice. Now, in another video, I think I did maybe mention this, that it has built-in Wi-Fi. Well, now, what's nice about that is you can take a picture, literally, you can snap a photo, or a few hundred, because this camera's wicked fast in the auto, I mean, it's wicked fast and then with the Wi-Fi setting enabled you can actually print them right there at the game if you have um, the selfie 1200 which I will be showing later on in this video um, I'm going to take a picture that I probably took out here and print it out and then you can see how fast that prints out and it I mean it's incredible the quality um, I've had a few people say that's an incredible camera well it's the printer plus the camera it makes the photo so it's extremely fast. It does have sport mode. I haven't tested that out right with the sports. Um, I mainly am shooting in automatic. Um, um, unfortunately, some bad news. Um, the first day I did get it on the 9th, which was the, the first day this other the other video I did, I lost some footage. Now, I know it's sad. Um, at the boys' volleyball game, which is up, there's not many photos of that game. Um, so that is one of the reasons why, because I took a lot of, I took like 3,000 photos with this camera. And in the memory card, I took it out in between the matches, you know, between the boys and the girls to take it out, get the stuff unloaded, and the card got corrupt. So I lost like 3,000 photos. So that's how great this thing is. 3,000 photos in about two hours time is incredible. Um, I don't know if I'll be taking that many pictures now because knowing how fast this is, I mean, it's that fast. I mean, I just took a few hundred photos up, up in the sky. Um, and then and then the goals game I did mainly on this camera, and then I took the final shots with this camera, and again, those will be up as well soon. Um, I haven't gotten any of those videos up, or any of those pictures up yet. I'm a little behind with getting those pictures up. I will be getting them up. All the videos are up at this point. Every section that I have done is up on YouTube. Lot, thanks for everyone that has watched all those videos. I mean, some of them are only getting like 100 views, and, and it's nuts. My Minecraft doesn't get half that as views. Um, and another mention is I will mention this at the end of the video. I will be doing a live stream later on tonight. So if you if I'm more used to live streaming, I'm sorry that you missed it. Um, but it will also be up online afterwards, so you can watch it. But yes, I am going to be doing a live stream later on, probably right after I get this this video shot and edited. I'll probably do another Minecraft, maybe a little video, and then get into the live stream. Um, but yeah, so this camera, as like I said, is extremely fast. And as you can see, it's, it focuses on poor, on poor, on, uh, on point, whatever you want to say. Um, it's wicked fast. The quality on here is really good, as you'll see when I print out a photo. And, and like I said, you, all you have to do, and you can, um, you can also um, make it so it goes when it will flicker. So when you go up here, it goes up there. Um, it's on the display, I think. So if you display, uh, maybe. It was working before. Uh, I don't know why it's not working now, but um, maybe it's, it's something to do with the, the camera, probably. Um, but yeah, you can actually look it up in here and see what exactly what you're saying, what you're seeing. So if I go up here, well, obviously it's not working right now, but like I said, it's like, look how, I mean, it was out of focus, I zoomed in. And this lens um, that I have here is a um, 14 to 140, which is a decent um, mid-zoom. It was a, it was expensive, just so you know, the body was expensive, the camera is expensive. But having interchangeable lenses is very good because... Later on down the road, if you get another, like, with this, if I get another Panasonic, I can use this lens on that new camera, which I am planning another camera later on in the new year, you know, in January of 2017. Hopefully it comes out, and if you didn't know which camera it is, and it is another Panasonic. Um, it's a really nice camera. It's also water resistant. This is also water resistant. I didn't mention, this is water resistant. Um, if you want to know which one it is, it's the G5 that's coming out next year at some point. I'll probably be getting that camera as a, you know, a second camera to this. So then I can take two still cameras and then have a video camera. So then if I have three, um, with wrestling, there are three mats sometimes going on at once. I can take videos and pictures of all three mats with all three cameras. Um, which is going to be nice. Um, but that doesn't come out until next year at some point. Uh, I don't know when, but the G5 does seem like a good camera. Um... This has a mic in jack, but no headphone. So if you're going to be doing video on here, you won't be able to hear what you're saying. Um, 
under this lamp, you can see it's got the mic right there, and it's got a wireless controller right there, which is nice. Um, on this side, you got their uh, connection for your computer, and then HDMI below. So you, if you have a HDMI cable TV or computer for that matter, you can plug this in directly. It is water sealed, it, or not water sealed. It's water resistant. So that, that doesn't mean go out in the rain and shoot pictures with it. It will it will handle a few raindrops, but it's not like the G5 or the G4, whatever one you have like that, is water resistant. It can handle that. This one can handle somewhat of a rain, but not too much of a rain. Um, memory cards right here on the side, um, right there. Um, I have a 16 gig I think in there right now. Um, because I bought a 64, unfortunately that card got corrupt, so I want to still see if I can get the photos off that camera, so I'm not going to use that camera chip. But, I mean, even without that chip, I can take 4,000 photos on the chip that's in there. So that's a lot. And then uh, the video depends on how much you can shoot for. So, just so you know that the camera is very good, and um, I will be doing, like I said, a very quick video in a little bit um, of showing you how it prints out with a photo. Um, like I said, you can hear that click and it. it's very quick. I mean, it's extremely quick. So I'm gonna quickly take some photos out here of the leaves or something like that. It's fall, as you know, so I'll take some pictures of some leaves over here. I guess I should just not do that mode. So I'll take a photo there. Take some photos out here just so you guys can see how good the quality is. And again, you can, it's very quick, so, you know, you can snap, snap away. Yeah, I mean, the, the quality on here is very good. And you'll be able to see it in the video, in the next clip that I'll be doing right after this video. Um, this camera is wicked quick. And uh, stay tuned, because there will be a little more clip of me putting out some photos for you guys. And so you can see the quality of this camera. It's a great camera. Welcome back. Now we're gonna print some photos off. So first here's the selfie printer right here. We're gonna pop this uh, tray right in. This is the ink for the unit which goes in the side over here. Just a little quick video. On this thing, there's the ink and this is the paper for it as well. So the paper goes inside. Now, like I said before, this has its own built-in Wi-Fi. Now, what I mean by built-in, it's got its own built-in Wi-Fi. So, with the Wi-Fi enabled on here, and the Wi-Fi on the new camera, we can print right to it. I've also done some other things, like print photos from my laptop at another event, and it does go fine. So, you don't have to have Wi-Fi at the location as long as this has the Wi-Fi, which it does. So, when I hit the Wi-Fi... And then uh, that's the password and stuff. I don't think I need that. So if I go into my settings on my camera, I'm going to hit functions, Wi-Fi, and it's going to automatically find several things from history. So I can connect it to my phone right there or to the selfie printer. We're going to hit selfie printer. And there's the battery life on the camera as well. So now it's going to connect right to this. Once it does, it will say connected. Might take a minute. I've also noticed, um, yeah, there it is. It's connected now. I've also noticed with this printer that it's faster with using a camera or plugging it in than over a mobile device. Just something to know. Alright, so I'm going to select a few photos to print. And on the camera, you can select how many, um, what size, how many, there's a whole bunch of selections. And you can um, set for like all or select. So there's, I'm going to just select multiply. And I'm going to select a whole bunch. And 
And this camera, like I said, is wicked facts. So it, you know, just so you know. So I'm going right through, right the compute, right through my um, the camera, and I'm looking at photos that I've taken, taken through the camera, and I'm finding some good ones to print. So when I'm all done, you're gonna hit OK, and now it's gonna ask you how many you want of each one so I'm just gonna select one you can also select to put the date and time on we're not gonna do that either print layout so you can do different print out layers as well um, one let's see type yeah so you can change the type uh, layout uh, so we're all good when you're all good you just hit, I think. Okay. I think now you just hit print. Uh oh, did I just select them all? Oh, I think I did. Hold on. Maybe. I think I did. Hold on. So by getting back, I just stopped what I was doing. I think I got them all slotted again. <laughs> okay. So when you're done, I voice slotted them all again. And then all you gotta do is you hit start print. And then it'll say, do you want it to do... Yeah, uh, so I selected six pictures. Um, do you want it to process them? And I don't know why that one came up. Okay, that's why. So I'm going to hit OK. And then you're going to hit Print. There we go. So I took some other photos today after the video. And some of those are going to print out. So then you're going to say you got six selected. Do you want to process? We're going to say yes. Um, processing them might be good because it might give you other opportunities to give you better pictures. So right now it's going to be putting them out. And it might take a bit of time. It's got six photos. And then you can see how it comes out and all that. And between shots, it does take a bit of time. 
So as you can see, it says busy. It's processing them in the camera, I think, and then submitting them. And now you're going to see that this is going to start turning on. And then it's going to just start printing them. I don't know why it says pitch big. That's another technology. Yeah, there it goes. So what it does is it grabs the paper from there and then feeds it in. It'll do it a few times. One's for the yellow. So this one obviously is doing the yellow. And then it'll do the yellow or the red color. And then it'll do the, bl the blue. Then it'll do one more final touch to laminate the photo. So right now it's going to do that. And then once it comes off, it's dry, it's good to go. So let's have a look at this. And as you can see, the photo is very good. Uh, this was uh, a sunset. And then all you gotta do is slide this off, like so. And then you got the photo. So as you can see, this photo is pretty good. It's on a gla um, glossy paper, which is nice. And uh, there's the first photo of six. So you can see that that quality is very good. There might be a little glare because of the light hitting it, but if I move it away from the light, it's probably the glare from the photo itself. So right now it's doing the next one. This was a photo I selected because I needed to print more off. Um, this was where I go to school. It's a photo from school. I'm actually in this photo. And now it's going to do the final touch up. You want to make sure the camera stays on to it the whole time when you're printing photos from the camera. So, um, yeah, so this is some folks from the school that I go to. And now it's going to do the next one. Um, yeah, so I'll just quickly show this. There's the group. And there I am right there. And this was an interesting photo because um, of where I go to school. So now we're waiting for the next photo to come out. And this is a, a picture of leaves that were on the ground. I've also taken some other photos um, with this camera and this uh, device. And so here's another photo that I took. And here's another one. Just some quick shots that I shot. Here's another one. And then some other picture like that. So it's pretty good quality of a printer. They do laminate, uh, so that last step actually laminates the photo. So like I said, you can see that photo coming out now, and now it's going to go back through and it's going to laminate it. So if water gets on it, it's good. So again, you gotta just peel that off. Look how good that photo is. Look how crisp it is. You, if you were looking at that right now, you'd think I was outside. Don't you? Let's see. Can you tell that I'm outside? Guys, where am I? Alright, now the next photo is coming out. And this is another one from outside. Now you can see it. This is print. It's printing them out pretty quickly. I think it takes about 45 seconds for them to print out from this camera. So I mean, from 
from printing it takes 45 seconds so it does take a bit of time but if you put a memory card in and you do it right through here it might be quicker but who wants to take the time of taking the chip out when you can just do it right from the device and then again this print is very nice it's easy to use you can see how quick these photos are coming out I mean very quickly I mean and within you know 10 20 minutes I have like 24 you know a few photos that print it off so there's the next one and so there's that one so again you can see that it's very really good picture just the quality on the image now again the image on the quality of this depends on your camera so the pe now the metal pixels doesn't mean anything and it looks like it's gonna run out of paper now so I'm gonna get the paper ready to go so all I gotta do for the paper when it runs out is just grab the sheet from the thing and oh looks like I'm damaging it somehow So it's doing that one color. Now it's gonna take it in, do the second the third color. Now this picture might not be as best as it could be. Uh, I didn't realize how blurry it was, but you can kind of sense that the depends on what mode you're in. So this is a picture I took after it. It's a little blurry, but we can do. Now it's gonna say there's no film left. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna take it out. And we're gonna put this ream of paper right in. I'm gonna take the first one off because it looks like it got damaged somehow. Maybe not all of it will fit. So then, there we go. So now I'll do the last photo. And this is another photo of that same little doggy. Okay, and this is um a neighbor's dog, just so you know. That was out after I did this other video. The the video before this. Or the Anthony in the same video. By the time I came in, the dog was there. So you can kind of sense of how good the quality of this camera is. Just depends on how good the picture is. The quality of the camera is the quality. You can see how quick that came out. And there's uh, that little picture. Cute little doggy. So we're gonna cut that up. So there's that picture. So you can see these photos didn't take that long to print. These photos. So that's good to know how quick they are. And then just to exit out, you just hit the exit and then it goes back to the screen that that was on. So a few things to wrap it up this video cameras great. Okay, so as I begin in the beginning I told you um, Leave questions about the camcorder if you want any questions Because they will have to send it out to get fixed So if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section um, I will also be doing a live stream later on Hopefully this video is up before that comes out so yeah, I mean this has just been a, a a very good overall video. Let's see if I can get this in the in the shot. Yes, I did. So we um this has just been a, a great video overall of both of these units and the pictures that you can print. I mean isn't the quality the best when you get what you get? I mean the pictures from that from this to that to this quality is awesome. So this has been a long video, not 
a video enough. So I'm going to have to end this off by saying, like I normally say in my end of my videos, and that is... Buh bye bye for now.